Uh, I'm about to start talking about Mason's rule or Mason's formula. And in the previous video, I had defined a bunch of terms that are required to use Mason's rule. Uh, one term I didn't, I wasn't quite good enough, didn't quite define well enough, was the gain of a path or a loop. All these, all these A's in this little signal flow diagram are individual gains that go from node to node, from, you know, from one node to another node could, is a gain. But for a loop, say this loop here, from Y2 to Y3 and then back to Y2, that loop gain is the product of all the gains in that loop. So this one would be A23 times A32. Similarly for a path, it's the, the gain of a path is the product of all the gains in that path. So this forward path from Y1 to Y5 that just goes straight across is the product of all these guys, A1, 2, A2, 3, A2, 4, A4, 5. This path that goes from Y2 or from Y1 to Y2, and then down around here up to Y5, its path gain would be A12 times A25. So now that we've done that, let's actually get to Mason's formula. Looks kind of worse than it is. This T stands for transfer function, which is why we're doing this. From node I to node J, or you know, from node Y or node J to node I, from I to J, it's that transfer function. It's well, the denominator is this delta, we call it the determinant. And what it is, is here's the formula for that delta, for the determinant. It's one minus the sum of all the individual loop gains, plus all the pairs of loops that don't touch each other. And those gains are the product of the, the two loops that make the pair of that loop. Um, I'll do an example in a second. And then if you have three loops that don't touch each other, none of which touch each other, then you do the triplet gains. And each time you change the sign, minus, plus, minus, plus, you're, we're never going to get to quad, quadruple loops, and we'll rarely even do triplets. Most, most you usually get are pairs. I'll do an example of triplets. Um, so that's that big determinant. Up here is the sum for each half. The K subscript is for half. So P is the gain of that path. Um, and then what is this minor determinant? It's sort of like this determinant, but only using the loops that do not touch that path. Let's do an example. <coughs> Here we, we, we've shown this before. We showed what the loops are. There's four loops. Here's one. Here's one, this little one here. And then here was this one, went from Y2 through A24 up to Y4, back to Y3, back to Y2. That's a loop. Every node in there, it only touched once. So there was four loops. And the loop gains are those products. So this guy will be A23, A32. A34, A43, A44, and then A24, A43, A3. There's the four loops and their gains. He said, this loop here, this A44 gain loop here, does not touch this loop here, A23, A32. All the other loops touch each other. 
Those of the four loops, those are the only two loops that do not touch each other. Um, we had three forward pass, one straight across, one coming down middle here and over, and then the one coming all the way down. Um, the first two of those paths has touch all four loops. This bottom path does not touch this loop or that loop. Okay, so that's what happens. Those are what's touching and what's not touching. Now, how do we apply Mason's form? Here's what it is. Here's the transfer function. In our case, that sum in the numerator, we had three paths. So we have this sum of three things. And what is the delta? It's going to be one minus the sum of all the loops. And there's four of them, right? One, two, three, four. And uh, we had all those loop gains. I'm not going to go through all that. A, two, three, A, three, two, et cetera. And then you add the non-touching loop pair gains. There was only one pair, two loops, but one pair. The non-touching loops was this guy, A44, and this guy, A23, A32. You multiply all those gains together. There that is. That was the only non-touching pair of loops. So this is the delta that goes on the bottom. Um, for the paths in the numerator, Two of the three paths touched all the loops. So their little mini determinant is just one. Um, you don't have to do, it, it's this formula or what these little sort of minor determinants are up in the numerator. You're only using the loops that do not touch that path. That path touches all the loops that delta is just one. Now for this bottom path, it didn't touch two loops, this loop here and this loop here. So its little minor delta is one minus the sum of, of those guys. It's two different loops, so it's minus A44, and then minus A34, A43. Uh, since they touch each other, we don't have to go any further like we did with the denominator. So here then on the bottom is the entire transfer function. Um, to give a little bit more, here's a sort of contrived signal flow graph. Um, it has these three simple loops. And their gains are just H1, H2, H3, but none of them touch each other. So when I do that overall determinant, I got one minus the individual loop gains, H1 plus H2 plus H3, but all minus, plus the sum of the pairs gain. Um, and there's three pairs, H1, H2, that's two. Those two don't count, those, they don't touch. H1, H3, they don't touch. And the H2, H3, they don't touch. All three don't touch. So you have three pairs of non-touching and their gains are those products. H1, H2, H1, H3, and H2, H3. And now we have a triplet of non-touching loops. None of these touch each other. So lastly, we subtract off the product of the triplets. So here the gain is H1, H2, H3. See, that's how that works. And there's only one path all the way through. It touches all three loops. So its minor determinant is one, but its path gain is one times G1 times G2 times one. So it one G2, that guy. 
We'll do some more examples in later videos.